Take an equilateral triangle. Now remove the subtriangle that is in the middle, the one made by the three midpoints. Then for each remaining subtriangle, the three triangles, repeat the same thing. Remove the triangle in the middle. Now for each one of their subtriangles, repeat the same thing. If you continue like this to infinity, you get this fractal shape, named the Sierpinski triangle. And if you keep zooming, you'll keep seeing the same shape getting repeated over and over, because the Sierpinski triangle contains Sierpinski triangles. In addition to being visually beautiful, Sierpinski triangle is a nice programming exercise to understand recursion and plotting shapes. Let's dive deeper to understand how to generate a Sierpinski triangle. We first need an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has the property of having three equal sides. Let's name the length L. To create an equilateral triangle, we need coordinates of the three points A, B, and C. And we cannot put them anywhere. We must put them in a way that the distance between A and B is L, also between A and C, and between B and C is the property of the equilateral triangle. For A, we can just put it at 0, 0, it's fine. For C, we can put it at L0, we'll get a distance of L between A and C. And for B, the X is in the middle between A and C, so X is L divided by 2. And for the Y, we know that an angle is 60 degrees, so we can calculate sine of 60 degrees, which is square root of 3 divided by 2, and multiplied by L we can say that y is square root of 3 divided by 2 times l. Ok, we made our equilateral triangle. Next step, we need to remove the triangle in the middle. But we need coordinates of its points. The triangle in the middle is the one made of midpoints of each line, and we have three lines, the one between a and b, the one between a and c, and the one between b and c. The general rule to get the midpoint between two points x0, y0 and x1, y1 is x1 plus x0 divided by 2, y1 plus y0 divided by 2. Let's do it for our points. a is at 0, 0 and b at l divided by 2 square root of 3 divided by 2 times l. So the midpoint is l divided by 4, l times square root of 3 divided by 4. A is at 0, 0 and C at L, 0, so the midpoint is L divided by 2, 0. Last line, between B and C, we get 3L divided by 4, square root of 3 divided by 4 times L. Let's name our new three points, midpoint AB, midpoint AC, and midpoint BC. We now delete the triangle that they form. After doing so, we get three new sub-triangles. What do we do? We just recursively apply the same thing for them. For example, for the top subtriangle, we consider midpoint AB as its A, midpoint BC as its C, B as its B, and we start. For the left subtriangle, A remains A, B is in reality midpoint of AB, and C is midpoint of AC. And for the right subtriangle, A is midpoint AC, B is midpoint BC, and C remains C. By calling the recursive function on each subtriangle this way, their middle triangle will be removed. Then each one of them calls the recursive function on its subtriangles. And so on and so on infinitely, that's how we can create a Sierpinski triangle. Let's try to write some pseudocode. Obviously, even if the action of repeating the process should be done infinitely, it won't be the case in our program, because we would get a program that never ends. But, at some point, triangles will become so small that we wouldn't be able to notice a difference unless we zoom in. This is why we'll introduce a sort of degree to know how many levels we explore before we stop. For example, here is a triangle of degree 1, of degree 2, of degree 3, of degree 4, of degree 5, of degree 6, and so on. And a triangle of degree D will be made of three triangles of degree D-1. So, when calling the program, we will have the ability to choose the degree. Choosing a higher degree gives a more detailed result, but a slower execution. Our draw Sierpinski function takes as parameter the depth only. At the beginning, we define the length of a triangle side. 
let's set it at 50 for example. After it, we'll create our points. A point is represented by a tuple of two elements, the x and y coordinates. a is at 0, 0, b is at l divided by 2 square root of 3 divided by 2 times l, and c is at l0. Our triangle is made of points a, b and c. We use them to draw our initial big y triangle. Ok, now we have our triangle. We now need to remove triangles inside it recursively. For that, we need a recursive function. Our recursive function takes as parameters the coordinates of the three points a, b and c and the degree. This function will basically remove the middle triangle and call itself on the three subtriangles. The base case is when the degree is zero. It means that we reach the depth we wanted. We stop. We do nothing. Else, we start by calculating coordinates of midpoints of each line, mid AB, mid AC, and mid BC. Midpoint is a function that just applies the formula we mentioned before. Now that we have midpoints, we delete the triangle that they form. For that, we can just draw a triangle of opposite color, black for example. Last step, we recursively apply the function on subtriangles with one less degree. Reminder that we have three subtriangles, one formed by A, mid A, B, and mid A, C, one formed by mid A, B, B, and mid B, C, and one formed by mid A, C, mid B, C, and C. And that's it. Obviously, this is just pseudocode, but if you want a real implementation, you can find one in the description of this video. It uses Python and Matplotlib module. I hope that you understood how to make a Sierpinski triangle. If you want to support the channel, like and subscribe, or you can buy one of the courses in description. See you in the next video.